start of the company was I was consulting for Motorola while I was still in Chicago, and I had a really long commute back and forth from Hyde Park to Schaumburg, uh, where, where the office I, had, I was working in. On my way back, and I would listen to NPR and I would be stuck in traffic and it was terrible, and on NPR I was hearing an interview with a filmmaker um, who had just won Sundance. And, and I didn't pay that close attention to the film industry or Hollywood, so anyway, I'm just passing the time driving. And it turns out that the winner that year was a guy named Ed Burns, who did a movie called The Brothers McMullen. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, Ed Burns, that's a pretty common name, but then I heard the voice, I'm like, that's Ed Burns that I went to high school with. And uh, I'm like, there we go, Ed Burns, you know, who I went to high school with, just won Sundance, and now he's like some big famous filmmaker. If Ed can make a movie, I can start a company. So it was really, <laughs> the, the genesis of this wasn't really a, any particular product insight at the time, but really just this entrepreneurial drive to, to actually create something. And I've told Ed this since then, and he thinks that's a good funny story. Um, but the uh, idea for Fat Wire started off actually in that consulting project where we saw that there was so much information f being published to internal and external sites and that uh, there were so many people creating the content that we needed a mechanism, this companies needed a mechanism to be able to allow non-technical peoples to manage that content more effectively. That's what FatWire was, was founded on.